What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I am bringing you guys a mini review and demo of a ton of new Wet n Wild products. As you guys may or may not know, they currently came up with a, a new foundation, powder, concealers, as well as some color products. So I just wanna share everything that I got today and kind of give you my first views on everything. So first things first, they came out with the foundation, a concealer, as well as a pressed powder, and they are calling this their Photo Focus collection. So this is supposed to give you like no flashbacks. Basically, it's supposed to look really, really good in photos. Those are like the, the main claims. So it says that it's tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models and with and without flash. So basically, it's not supposed to flash back with any type of photography and that's pretty much for all three of these things. The shade that I got in the foundation was Desert, Desert Beige and this was one of the second to last darkest shades in my Walgreens. I know online they have a lot more of a selection but considering where I live there's a lot more lighter shade tones. So it comes with this little spatula applicator and that's pretty much what I used when I applied it. The one thing that I noticed when I was applying this foundation, it did have a bit of a scent. However, it kind of dissipated over time. Like once I kind of buffed everything in, I no longer smell it. So I will say this was a great match for my skin tone, which kind of shocked me because I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark, but it was perfect and it had like the perfect amount of, of yellow warmth to it. So I'm really, really impressed with the shade as well as the coverage. I would say that this is probably about a medium coverage foundation. It definitely left my skin with more of a natural finish. It did kind of have like a slight tackiness to it, which of course went away once I used the powder. Now let's speak about the powder a little bit. The powder is just kind of mediocre. It feels like not super silky to the touch. I know I've definitely tried better drugstore powders before. However, it did do the job and it ended up being a pretty good color. Although at first I thought that it was going to be too light. And the shade that I got was warm beige. So that's just a mediocre product just so far. Um, it wasn't like anything stand out about it, but of course, over time, more and more I use it, I will definitely notice whether or not I actually like it, which I will update you guys on my monthly favorites. And then finally, as far as just the face products, well, no, that's not all for the face products, just as far as like the, you know, the skin coverage products. Um, finally, the, the concealer, which is what I was actually most excited about um, and I got it in the shade light medium beige. So when I applied this, it really kind of reminded me of like a NARS creamy concealer with how thick it is and even the applicator. But I don't know if you guys can notice, but as I blended it out and I mean, I applied quite a bit, which you'll see in the demo, but I felt like all of my coverage just kind of blended away. So I'm not really super impressed with this. I'll work with it a little bit more. Maybe I can use like a peach corrector or some kind of corrector underneath to add to the coverage. But so far it's just eh. And then also they came out with, let me think, a if I can find a picture of like a display, I'll show it to you guys. But they also came out with a stick blush, stick highlighter, and a stick contour. I went on ahead and grabbed the contour stick in Call Me Maple. And that's what that looks like. Um, it's just like a twist up 2B type deal. And I'll go on ahead and give you guys a swatch just so you can see. It is extremely creamy and it definitely blended out very, very seamlessly. And it gave me a very subtle contour, which I've kind of been liking more lately rather than like, you know, a really, really hard contour. So, so far I've really been enjoying this. I'm not big on cream contouring, but I was willing to try it out. And then they also, 
made their Mega Glow highlighting powders a part of the permanent collection. Um, the color that I've had for since they came out with it initially was Crown of My Canopy. Unfortunately, they did not have the other shade, which I'll have to just list down somewhere on this screen just so you guys can know for reference but i really really love this highlighter it's considered a highlighter i actually used it as a blush today because a little it's a little bit more on like the rosy side so i thought it would be more so nice as a blush which is what i've always used it for absolutely love this that's nothing new and then finally i picked up <coughs> ooh, I picked up four colors of the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. I actually hauled this in my What I Got For Christmas haul, but um, at the end of the video, you guys will see lip swatches of all four of these. And I must say like, the way that it's like sitting on my lips now, my lips don't feel super tight and cracky they're really really comfortable to put on the one thing that i noticed immediately when i was using the applicator was that it almost has like this slight dip in it that really contours the lips really really nicely and makes for a really really neat application so i really enjoyed that and just overall the feel of it like i said it's very comfortable like i know sometimes it can get really really suspect on the inner corners of our mouths but so far just talking to you guys it's really really comfortable it almost feels as if nothing is on my lips at all so i'm really enjoying these and again you will see all of those in action at the end of the video so if you want to see all of these things in action really from the foundation to the powder to the concealer everything go on ahead and stay tuned and i hope you all enjoy this make sure you get this a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel or even if you are make sure that you guys hit like the little bell down there next to the subscribe button that way you can be notified every single time i drop new videos i am trying to you know keep this ammo going up you know what i'm saying so yeah enjoy the demo and i will see you guys on the next one peace okay you guys so let's go on ahead and get things going i have already cleansed and primed my skin and primed my eyelids and i put my eyebrows on just for the video's sake um starting off with the foundation i ended up getting the shade desert beige the one that was slightly lighter was too pink in tone at least at my walgreens so this one may be a little dark but you know we'll work with it so this comes with like a paddle applicator so i'm just going to use that to apply and i am going to just go on ahead and use a brush to you know apply everything i'm not going to use a beauty blender because i don't have one here in front of me that's wet anyway so all right the brush that i am choosing to use today is my crown c40 c453 brush so let's go on ahead and blend this out oh this is actually a pretty good match Okay, I really like the way the foundation applied. It does have like a bit of like a paint smell to it, but I imagine that it's gonna kind of dissipate over time. So I'm really liking the look of the foundation and it kind of came out to more of a natural finish. It's not extremely matte. Right now it does have a bit of tackiness still and some transfer. So we're gonna let that set in and while that setting 
Um, I'm going to go on ahead and do my eyes. I am using the crown brush palette that I actually have on a giveaway right now. The giveaway is running from now till the 31st of January. So if this is something that you are interested in trying out, I am giving this away to two people. So definitely check out my, not my last video, but my Christmas, what I got for Christmas haul. So the color that I'm going to go into is this guy up top just to kind of buff this all over my lid. And I'm not planning on doing anything spectacular. I really just want to put something in my crease. I'm going to use this warmer tan shade here. Now moving into a deeper shade, I'm going to use this color here just to kind of carve out my crease a bit. I want to deepen the crease just a little bit more so I'm going to take this corner shade here and add that to the outer V. Then to just add a little bit of sparkle to the lid, I am using this shade here all over my mobile lid. I'm going to take this lightest shade here and put that on the highest point of my brow bone. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do with the eyes right now. Let's go on ahead and move on to the concealer. Again, I got this in the color um, light medium beige. And I felt like it would be a good match, so we shall see. Looks like it just comes with the doe foot applicator. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a good shade. It feels to be a little bit more on the thick side. It kinda is reminding me of like the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, which is actually one of my all time faves. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that down the bridge of my nose and just like, you know, a little up top here. And we're going to let that warm up a little bit since it is a little bit more on the thick side. And we are going to use this concealer stick. Now, disclaimer, I am typically not a cream contour type of girl, but... I am wanting to try some new stuff out, so that's what we are going to do. I'm going to apply this around my nose and then across my forehead as well as down here to get rid of some of that double chin. I might as well. And I actually am going to use a beauty blender. So let me go wet this real quick. All right, so I'm going to go on ahead and get my RCMA powder ready because I like to set immediately after blending my concealer out. So I'm going to start by blending the concealer with the pointed end of my Real Techniques sponge. All right, so now I'm gonna use the side of my sponge to begin to blend this out.
that actually blended in really, really easily and it's extremely soft. So maybe I should have gotten a deeper color. I don't know, but we'll see how it pulls. Damn it, you guys. You know what I should have used was my new Real Technique sponge that I just got. Oh, well. We're already elbow deep in the blending. Okay, so I really like the way the, the contouring came out. It's really, really soft. At first, I thought that I blended it away too much, but I actually like the look of it. So I'm now going to go on ahead and set the areas that I highlighted with the RCMA powder and to set the contour I'm going to use this this may be too shimmery uh, yeah I'll go on ahead and use I'll stick with the wet and wild I'm using the wet and wild Fergie collection this is in the shade to reflect and it's just like a more shimmery bronzer but you know it's actually one that i haven't pulled out in a while but i like it a lot So that is the highlight and the contour let's go ahead and set the rest of the face using this pressed powder this is the photo focus pressed powder use this elf i think it's just a i don't know what kind of brush it is but we're going to use this to set the other areas of the face All right, so I am actually going to go on ahead and use the highlighting powder as my blush, which is what I typically use this as anyway, more of like a glowy blush. And I am using the e.l.f. complexion brush to And of course, I cannot complete the face without using the Wet n Wild Gold Bar. Unfortunately, this was a limited edition product but you know how that should go they got they have plenty of other really really beautiful highlight colors this just happens to be one of my favorites I'm actually going to use this on my inner corner as well and then to finish off the eye I'm going to use a pencil brush and the like not the deepest brown but this warm brown here just to tie in 